Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mucklover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds on Monarch. So, we've got a few things to do right now, but let's go ahead and talk to good old Velma about some issues she may have selling her card, as well as um, other things that I cannot remember on the top of my head. But, let's go up top first. There's a marker up here, and we didn't actually explore this area last time we were in Velma's storage. Oh. Oh, I can just take your stuff. I don't want to be too rude, but let's check out the personal files. Oh, hack. Enter the name of the employee who files you want to view. Hacked. Saltuna breeding charts. Ooh. Ballard. Morass of supply contracts order from spreadsheets and financial records. That is clearly, cleverly hidden. Used for official office work. Messages to heck. Uh, little lumpy fish. Saltuna situations. Who are you? you? You, where are you? You've missed three shifts. Interesting. Now I could steal it right now since we're already up here. But I'm not going to be that much of a jerk at the moment. Hey Velma, I got your capital huh. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. You said that last time. I got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Well, he's not coming back. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Well, maybe now you can hire someone better. It's a rotten way to go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Grimm's poster. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Um, Persuade, help me out here. I found Braxton, didn't I? Or Nell's no longer interested in the poster. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take the poster then. And if nice. I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Um. He said Braxton had been stealing drugs. I think we already covered that. Let's go lead the conversation first. We're gonna go ahead and go to Grim, maybe? Perhaps? Actually, what's my inventory like? Very nice. It's a very nice inventory with all that extra space now. 29 armor. God dang. Vicar Max, do you need any armor? You might need a little bit more. Less engineering, more armor. There you go. Just break that down. Nice. Four armor parts. We do want to talk back to Grim because... Or go back to talk to him. Because we can get some more XP. And I'm all about sucking on that XP. And then we'll talk to the Caleb, I think, up on the second story there. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Um, what's so special about it? Too persistent? Here it is. Here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. All right. I got a toss ball blocker. You look very intimidating, Vicar Max. 14,000 XP. Still not enough. A pro toss ball blocker. And, and actually, not Nioka. Ah, uh, reputation's increased. Caleb. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. We need to talk about Velma. Got an update <sighs> for us? We can't afford to sit this out for too much longer. Know what I mean? Alright, she'll she sees reason. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. As agreed, here's your compensation. Ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Very nice. Now let's talk to Nioka. 
Bob, it's Charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? She sounds like she's really drunk. Got your magic pills. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it in. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Oh, man. Uh, we need Neoka's help right now. Um... Uh, you know what? What if I, I just want to keep Vicar Max and Parvati the entire time? But I was, guess for now, I'll let Vicar Max stay on the ship, but I'm going to bring him back as soon as we're done with this mission. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. Vic, Vicar, where'd you go? Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks oh. hire me. Those several phrases have been marked off right between the eyes. Because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Uh, since we have her for now, we should also upgrade our skills too. Uh, give me two more points in here for now. Oh, but if I upgrade this all the way, I can get up to adept. As well as... Adept for both of these. Hack. Oh, hack is already. F oh, goodness gracious. Science is already up there. Uh, give me at least one more so I can get that up to there. Mm. Ooh, determination needs one more. I can heal my companions as well. That's not bad. It's only one point. I got four more. Lock picking. I want more lock picking. I need more hack. I really, I really love the hack skill. Medical engineering though. Oh, man. This is a tough decision to make. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do three of that so we get to adept. And then we're going to move on up to one more stealth. That looks pretty good to me. Cool. And Nioka, we're not going to keep you for very long. This is a pretty good uh, weapon you got there. That's not bad. Uh, her perks, pretty... Oh, nice. She's a liar. They're pretty much this kind of the same as other people, maybe except for tier 2 ranged, armor rating, melee damage, radius of footsteps sounds. Uh, I'd rather just give you more armor, probably. Thank you. And you have one more. Reset, combat ability, damage, equip time, range, weapon, reload speed, or depth. Nice. Oh, the next one is showtime. Uh, harmful status effect duration. All right, well, whatever. Where is this on the map? So we need to leave, but we have some other things to do. Meet with Catherine in Fallbrook, which is in the region down south, like Neoka said. Repair the printer press, which is over there, which I want to see what happens with the Iconoclasts. Get into the arms building, which is actually right there. That's not bad. And then Empty Man, Reginald. Oh. Oh, he's on. In Fallbrook. Nice. Celia. Oh, I still need to talk to Celia. Weapons from the. Oh. What'd I do? There we go. Weapons from the Void. Um. Hawthorne's Terminal. That's. Where? That's still on my ship. Um, little memento. Unit outpost. Very down south. Family matter. 
Agnes Needham. Oh, goodness, we gotta do that. Uh, where is Elijah? Yeah, see if we can do something about that first. Might have to grease a few things here or there, but yeah, you never know. And if we have to, we can use this. Oh, actually, since we're here and the game's lagging a little bit, I'm not sure why. As soon as you stop to dream of. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Also, he'll say, he said he'll go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Look, you got your chance. Just have fun and don't overthink it. Oh, I will. <laughs> now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look. Ah. Look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. Nice. Well, since we're here, and we talked to the iconoclasts... Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. How'd you know anyway, I went there? What can I do for you? I have questions. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. How did you get kicked off the board? I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Alright, you initiated your own removal? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra 1. Uh, what happened? As you may have noticed, this planet has more than its share of hazards. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. All right, but not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions. To reform MSI from the ground up. Sounds kind of noble. I mean, you and Graham, right? Ah, so you've heard about our prior... acquaintance. No sense being coy about it. We're partners now, aren't we? <sighs> I suppose you're right. Graham's always had a way with words. Strange as it may seem... I suspect he'd have quite the corporate career if he weren't so radical. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. And we both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. Alright, so why were you so invested in reforming? Reforms are humane. But they're also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. I hope you'd treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. Hear, hear. That may not be the way the colony works, but it damn well ought to. Mm -hmm. A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. All right, then they probably didn't embrace them. No, they laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. All right, yeah, yet here you are. Yes. Some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Huh. It's pretty low even for them, but why? They probably didn't want to... They probably want to limit the amount of business that Sanjar is leading if they could just call them savages. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. 
I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Alright, so why exactly do you want back on the board? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. So they treated you pretty rough. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Alright, leverage. Just be careful. Oh, believe me, I've learned that much. But I'm also not going to leave MSI at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Alright, <clears throat> I'll talk about okay, something else, okay. and really we gotta go. So, I will be back in just one moment. Alright, and we're back. My apologies about another... Did you have a sweetheart in Stellar Bay? Fade in, fade out. A fling or two, sure. But, uh, I had to do that, mostly because I had to go eat lunch. So, oh well, what happened, happened. Now, can we go see Elijah and Berta? Berta. Thug and a thug. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Um, I know you killed Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. I found your toss ball stick. This is all going to catch up with you, Elijah. Oh, yeah? What are you saying, exactly? You've bullied people long enough. You'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. Alright, now we gotta go back to talk to Sanjar. Where's she pee by? Oh, they're walking away, so I think that should be okay. Oh, flamethrower. Nice. Um, there's a some stuff over here. Very nice. Alright, let's go back to talk to Sanjar for a little bit more XP. Uh, I was thinking about killing them, but I'm like, nah, if I don't have to, I won't want to. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Mioka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Isaac Rose is dead. But that's terrible. What happened? It was Elijah and his hooligan friends. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. Of course you would have. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. All right, thank you very much again, Sanja, but let's... Double check our journal. Completed quite a few things. No. Uh, the abandoned building. Bold with his name. That seems kind of interesting. If we go that way. Arms storage. This is one of the earlier quests that we picked up that I still have yet to accomplish. Now, I don't know how far I'm going to push the division between the Iconoclasts and Stellar Bay. Stellar Bay. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm really here for my own gain. If I can help people out, maybe. But I'm really here for my own personal gain. Captain, let's talk. Why, what do you want? You got more drugs? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And 
I could use the help. Um. All right. I'll be upfront with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Well, thoughts are dangerous. I'm thrilled to accept. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Ah, uh, sure, what do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. And? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Including your own? All right, sounds like fun. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Cool. All right. Now we I don't think we we're on this part of town. Good old stellar bank. Yeah. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. We weren't on this part of town before. Like you reckon a smell ever goes away? Boy, take you. Where to go? Woo! Nice work. All right, cool. Got to love this this rifle. So good. Uh, I don't know where it is. Whatever. That's oh, I could have blown up the explosives, but where's the fun in that? Any buildings that can be looted? Here we go. I missed. Up, oh, he's already dead. And come on, nice got him a little bit there. got him. No worries, right? No worries. No worries. Another flamethrower? Oh, he's not dead. Now nah, that one's dead. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, hide. Oh, we're all fine. No worry, Parvati. Jeez. I wish she could like build like robots that could like help travel around her. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of like uh, the engineer from Team Fortress 2. Build a little robot that you can take along with you. Uh, meat. I love your meat. A few paces away. Okay, here we go. Down they go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I think I might have. Yeah, I keep missing. Wow, great work. But it doesn't matter. I've got good companions. Careful. Only things you'll find in the room. Here we go. What? She said something. And I keep missing my shots. It's already dead. Oh, we got more. Well, let's use a little bit of this. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Tasty. Yeah, I haven't really used the uh, slowdown, the TTD, the time tilting dilation thingy, my Bob. Not very much. I try to use it from time to time, though. Uh, any more enemies? I love killing enemies. Well, as long as I can manage to kill them. To the arms building. Bits? Yes, bits. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to sneeze. Wow! Awesome. Ah, Adreno. Uh, do that, do that, do that. Ah, terminal. That's not stealing if it's not red. And even if it was, I don't care. Sandra Bad habit of paddling his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and or taglines. Oh, re executive review. 
of oh hack issues with brevity and shows a consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats Dora Dora we jump where's boots real knack for brief of compelling presentations do I need to get wait hold on do I need to get rid of that information uh, journal. A little moment. No, it's... Oops. Oh, we need to wipe him anything. It was less than flattering. Uh, this probably isn't good. Screw it, we'll do it. Awesome. Is there anything else in here? Yes! Ah! Oh, nothing. A revolver mark two. Locka, 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 locka. Oh, we got some enemies around here. And my nose is getting more and more stuffy. Ah, the weather must be, uh, getting colder. Again. Alright. Go ahead and pick the lock. Nice stuff. Auto mag pistol, level 9. We already had some of those. That was alright. I mean, they weren't great. Do that there. Oh! Maybe. Snarl like a raptodon. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Who's in there? How'd you get locked in? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Uh, well, I didn't get in that room. Phew. <clears throat> Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Uh, you might as well answer a few things for me. Sure. Beats not answering questions. Uh, who are you? Huxley. I'm an Iconoclast runner. The Iconoclast runner. Fastest we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void be taking hellhole that can catch me. I'm... Uh, I'm... <sighs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room Sorry. like this. Sorry. Uh, tell me about the iconoclast, kind of so get locked in closets often? My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of raptodons wanting to munch on my head. But, I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, alright? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Uh, I wasn't serious. Alright, I'm looking for a Bolt 52. Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Alright. Get me out of here! Back to the door. Way to open it from the inside. What do you mean? It's locked. Alright, but let's try the handle. Turn upward and... Wait. Huzzah! Oh, phew! Thank you so much! It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka! Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. You're okay to travel? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Alright, you might give him something. Good luck. Uh, you know what? <laughs> You're dying here. Yeah, good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. <coughs> well, my apologies. I had to sneeze. Whew. 
Alright, let's grab that bolt 52. Nice. Mac pick. I don't about to sneeze again. Oh my goodness. It's not good. It's not good. Oh, this is bad. Alright, very nice. <laughs> awesome. Um, let's get up to Intimidate for 60. I love that. Let's get Engineering up to at least 5 more, and then we'll do that. Cool. And we have another perk. Now we can choose from Tier Trace. Ooh, I like this one, Steady Hand. Guaranteed Crit Hit. Oh, that's pretty... Don't go dying on me. That's pretty good. More armor rating bonus and skill bonus. More carrying capacity. Just more damage. How about we get more armor? That sounds more interesting to me. Let's do that. Awesome. Oh, did I have another... Oh, two more skill points. Uh, I don't know. That's all 50. That's pretty good. I'll put it in here. Nice. Cool. All right, guys. That's pretty much all the time for that we have today. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully might try to finish up Monarch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great, great day.